Now, um, Oliver, I always enjoy the scenes set in the borough, both when I'm reading the books and watching the films. Such a kind of warm and safe place uh, to spend time. But just wondered if you could tell me a bit about how things have changed at the borough by Deathly Hallows Part One. Well, they've um, they've decided to. They, we see uh, Bill Weasley come into it, who's uh, the older brother who works with dragons and everyone else. Uh, so he's he's actually coming back to uh, to get married, really. And there's a, there's a really cool sequence all around the burrows. Um, but before that, you see it as the... It's always been the safe house, as it were. Um, but again, you see them... It's not, it's not as safe as you'd like to think it would be. And um, James, how do Fred and George feel about being separated from, from Ron? Obviously, they're with him at the beginning, and then he has to, to go off with Harry, doesn't he? Yeah, I think they could... Well, I think that the Weasleys in general are aware that they've got... They, they'll do anything to, to win this fight. They don't have to fight it all together. So Harry and you know Ron's Ron's his best friend, so he's going to stick with him, and they know that he's he's been trained well enough to to stick up for him. And Fred and George are they're they're older, so a lot of the fight sequences it's always they're always involved with Mr. Weasley with um uh with um I forgot the who else they're fighting with? <laughs> no, well, they're, they're always uh, involved with um, Shacklebolt, who is a very trained uh, wizard. The same with Lupin as well. He goes off and does his own and gets involved as well. So it's, it was you see them taking the more taking on more of the stuff um, to fight the the older Death Eaters. And James, Julie Walters must be, um, as Molly Weasley must be, one of the best green mums ever, I think. Yeah. Um, I just wondered what you can tell us about working with her for the last time on uh, Deathly Hallows. Yeah, I, we've learned so much over the last 10 years of working with Julie, and she is, she is as nice as you'd expect her to be, and more. I can't speak highly enough of her. Um, but the, I can remember one, we had to do one certain scene in part two, which was quite emotional. And to have Julie, like, like you can tell why she, you, know, you can't typecast Julie anyway, but you can see how wide-ranging she is because you no, know, we're literally on set and it's all really fun and having a good time. Then they roll action, and it's completely different. And you know, we we found ourselves ended up with tears in our mm. eyes about how how good it was. So um, yeah, I, I can't speak highly enough of her. And Oliver, David Yates has directed obviously the last four um, Harry Potter films. Yeah. Why um, was that continuity so important for cast, crew, and the story? I guess I think it's just he's um, David knows exactly what he wants, and obviously the producers and everyone agree totally with him on that. And he um, he really gets you to think about when you're filming. If you're doing a certain sequence with your character, he'll try and get you to think of a time when you may have felt the same type of feeling in your own life and try and reflect that in your performance. So it definitely makes the whole thing a lot more real, um, which is a totally different way of, of acting than I've thought of. But yeah, it's a very beneficial one to, to know. And I think he's made them all very distinct films. They don't just feel like a series that's carrying on, but they've all got their own flavours, haven't yeah, they? Yeah, 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 definitely. Which is wonderful. Um, and James, Michelle Obama and Oasis have uh, visited previous Harry Potter sets. I just wondered if you could tell us about who the esteemed guests were this time around. This always... I don't know, there's so many that come, like, you, it's not unusual just to see some high, like, really big celebrities walking past, and, and like, really intrigued in seeing everything. Um, I'm trying to think who was there this time, it was... I can't remember. I can't remember, I, there's just been so many to go, to go past. I can remember when, when Liam Gallagher came, came uh, Matt Lewis, who plays now, was a huge, like, huge Oasis fan, and he wasn't there, so we met him told him who we met and he was quite envious of that one. But even, even that was weird because like the first album uh, we got was what Story Morning Glory when we were young. So to meet, meet him and he was just like, oh, so you having a good day? And he was there with his son. And I, I thought he was just going to say, yeah, it's all right. You know. But he was like, I like the train. That, and he was pointing over at the big Hobbit <laughs> Express and everything. And it was wicked seeing him actually walk with that, you know, that proper walk he's got. So stuff like that was quite, quite unique. Because it's become quite normal to you guys, but I mean, I've, I've been on the, the set and just the great hall is amazing, isn't it? Just the size. Yeah, I think we, well, yeah. we take it. I remember the first time we walked on there, it was literally like mouth open, like, wow, this is cool. And then after, obviously, after 10 years, it kind of loses the effect on you. But when we're in there, a couple of, for the last time, actually, it was all really done out and pretty special. And we were kind of, I can remember looking at it thinking, we've, this is, that kind of hit home that this is really something special we've been mm. a part of. Yeah. And as your publicity duties that come to a close, obviously you've got a premiere next year as well on Deathly Hallows. What does the immediate future hold for you both, um, Oliver? First of all? The immediate future, a um, bit of golf, I think. 
try and try and get a single figure handicap. But on a professional level, there's some ideas. Uh, well, hopefully, will come to come into effect in uh, in the new year, um, which we're in still in early stages at the moment. So we're what, three or four months off that yet. Yeah. Hopefully, that will all come good. Because you've done some running work on other feature films. James, right? James, oh, that was James yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, I'd, um, I wouldn't go down the running route for a while, no. I don't think. Um, I had a great time doing it, but I don't really like getting up at 5 a.m. every morning and <laughs> doing that kind of... I, I like being spoiled like an actor is. So, uh, But I, like Oliver said, the immediate future is all publicity and everything. But I, hope, I mean, we, we've got a couple of things come through for the new year. So fingers crossed they could, they could transpire into something pretty cool. Fantastic. Thanks, yeah. James Phelps and Oliver Phelps. Thanks very much. Thank, Thank you very much. much. Thanks. Thanks.